Over the past four years, Kamala has orchestrated the most egregious betrayal that any leader in American history has ever inflicted upon our people. The most egregious. It's disgusting what she did. She's violated her oath and eradicated our sovereign border and unleashed an army of migrant gangs. They're waging a campaign of violence and terror against our citizens like we've never suffered before. We've never had this before in our country. It's an invasion, ladies and gentlemen. It's an invasion. Kamala has imported criminal migrants from prisons and jails, from insane asylums and mental institutions all over the world, from Venezuela to the Congo, including savage criminals who assault, rape, and murder our women and girls. Anyone who would let monsters kidnap and kill our children does not belong anywhere near the Oval Office. And my people told me about four weeks ago, I was saying, no, I want to protect the people. I want to protect the women of our country. I want to protect the women. Sir, please don't say that. Why? They said, we think it's we think it's very inappropriate for you to say, so why? I'm president. I want to protect the women of our country. They said. They said, sir, I just think it's inappropriate for you to say, pay these guys a lot of money. Can you believe it? I said, well, I'm going to do it whether the women like it or not. I'm going to protect them. I'm going to protect them from migrants coming in. I'm going to protect them from foreign countries that want to hit, a, hit us with missiles and lots of other things. Remember, for four years, we had no war other than I defeated ISIS, but I inherited I defeated ISIS in — I felt like Brett Favre. I defeated ISIS in four weeks instead of five years, which they said it was going to take. Because we have a great military, we just didn't have any leadership at the top, I mean, in the office of the president, or even close to it. So I said, I'm going to defend and I'm going to protect women. I'm not going to let people go up to the suburbs or go into places where they live, whether it's suburbs or cities or farms. We're going to protect our women. At the border, we're going to protect our women. And also, we're going to protect our men and our children. We're going to protect everybody. Is there any woman in this giant stadium who would like not to be protected? Is there any woman in this stadium that wants to be protected by the president? <laughs> I love these. You know, these women are from North Carolina. These women. They've been to 251 rallies. Look how beautiful they are. And they're all happily married. They're beautiful husbands. I saw them once. But, you know, I never see their husbands. I only see them. Look at them. They travel all over the country. This is at least a pretty close one. This is, I mean, they go to California. They're incredible women. I think they have a good home life. I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> no, their husbands are great, but I appreciate it. Yeah, it's like 251. Can you believe it? And we have, we have front row Joes here, too. They've been to like 400. We got a lot of foot. It's good to see you. These are great people. They're patriots, I will tell you. And they're very successful people. Very successful people.